Martin Steve and yes I'm not in the Nexus today heck no I'm in a station and this is a pretty special station chums so this is a station where you can get ship modules uh, for your living ship just by flying out and getting the eggs I put the I put the video link at the end of the video the very end the very very end on how you can get easy living ship modules but yes to start the show off I just want to say a massive thank you to those that have given me super chat so far so that's the procedural traveler and terror atomic thank you very much for supporting my channel in that way in the last week chums thanking you and yeah and also a paypal donation on my birthday from a kevin bramley you made my day thank you very much thanking you so all of that goes towards getting next gen and playstation 5. okay now moving on to the spotlights the good stuff so I'm going to keep these fairly living ship related in a roundabout way. So the first one goes to Clutch Win, and this was a reaction video. So yeah, check out the card at the top there. Basically, he plays the um, trailer for um, No Man's Sky, the living ships update, and gives his reaction. And it's an honest reaction. He doesn't go over the top. He's not like that at all. It's quite a good reaction video, and he states that he's a, Hello Ga uh, um, a No Man's Sky fan and stuff. So yeah, it was quite a nice video. I enjoyed watching it. Hope you do too. Check that out from that card. Craze, Craze Gaming. We all know Craze Gaming. If you don't, check him out. He's awesome. Um, but yeah, he's done a review of um, the living ships update. Much like myself, LZ has also done one as well. So check out LZ. Uh, Legacy Zero. Um, he's also done a review too. But at the top there I've put up Craze's link because that's the one I saw first. And uh, yeah, but uh, LZ just put his out yesterday. Um, but yeah, but shout out to both of those, but it's Craze's card at the top there that I'm putting. And yeah, if you haven't checked out my own review, I gave it an 8.1. And yeah, if you want to watch that review in full, feel free. And yes, in the comments, just put in what you would give it. It'd be nice to hear your thoughts and feelings on the actual update. And um, PT. So he's going to be my next one. So Procedural Traveller, check out his card at the top there. He has done base tours of all the bases that are now featured in the Nexus on PC. Now I am hoping to do a similar sort of video, but for PS4 bases at some stage when I get round to it. Been a busy bee. Um, right, so Damage Smash is the next one. So putting his card at the top. Now he is a PSVR streamer. He's also a good supporter of the channel. And yeah, welcome addition to my channel, in fact. Yeah, great guy. Um, but he does a VR play. And he has been looking for the ships in PlayStation VR. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether I'd want to take that one on. Because reading, like, the coordinates and stuff is difficult for me in VR, to be honest, Jumps. I mean, it's, it, it, it's just not sharp enough, really, for my eyes. But yeah, maybe I haven't got dialed in right, because he seems to be able to do it just fine. So well done, Damage Smash. and Go check him out. He's um, getting his channel off the ground and he's doing quite well. So go show him some support. And we've got the DG360. Now this video is a bit controversial, chums. Um, so yeah, basically there was an article online saying that No Man's Sky is the best game to go for photography. And he's compared the photos that he's taken from Star Citizen to the photos in No Man's Sky. Now I would still say that No Man's Sky is the best place to go to take photos for photo's sake, I mean, we've got photography missions. So there's missions that actually ask you to take certain photos of certain things. Now, what I would say is a player in the uh, you know Star Citizen universe can go to the snow planet, take a picture, and it's going to look fairly similar to another um, snow picture that somebody else has taken inside Star Citizen. The planet variety in Star Citizen, I don't think is quite there yet. I wouldn't even say the planet variety in No Man's Sky is quite there yet. But I would say that the photos feel more yours and more individual in No Man's Sky. Especially with the amount of different filters that you can apply. And yeah, basically there's variety in the photo mode itself. You know, there are tweaks that you can do to your photos. So I would like to say that No Man's Sky is still very much a decent place for photographers and cinema cin cinemographers. That's a hard word for me to say. Right, so that's my feeling on it, but yeah, check out the card and see what you think. But yeah, I, on all of those videos, chums, you should find a Captain Steve comment. Check out what I said, and yeah, it'd be good to see your comments appear in there too. So right, so now, on to my speculation, chums. My speculation around living ships and the future, of what this might mean, this living ships update, and whether I feel that we might be getting some more stuff from some of the tidbits that we've got in there. So firstly, my living ship top five so the top five things that i would like to see come out on top of this i mean I, we may have already got some of these in the update by the time we put this video out but we will see so freighters the abandoned freighters i like to see storage containers on them now what i have heard is on experimental pc that's already there 
so it might actually be on console by the time I put this video live so if it is apologies but yeah at least we're on the same wavelength um, ship tints so I would like to see the living ships able to change the tint colors maybe for a quick silver perk that you might get or maybe some sort of modulator that you can get for your ship just to change the tits, tints and also maybe the trails that'll be cool okay so slots at the moment we can't upgrade the slots in the ships and that makes them uncomparable to the ships that we currently have because we can make them max slot and we can't make these living ships max slots so I'd like to see that come to it at some stage also I was thinking it'd be nice if there were some cooking recipes to make fuel for your ship using the nutrient processor I mean it's a living ship let's let's feed the thing a few new recipes would go amiss it'd be cool if some of those recipes actually gave your ships some perks it's like I mentioned about ship tits earlier it'd be nice if maybe if you fed it say a jam donut it goes a rosy red color and it stays that rosy red color until you feed it something else that it likes and then it changes a different color maybe but yeah maybe they could build some of that in there that'd be quite cool and also um, abandoned modules so you know like the abandoned stations and stuff like that it'd be cool if when you go into an abandoned station that you could actually buy some modules up there maybe on you know the galactic terminal interface I mean it's slightly corrupted maybe they could put a few ship modules in there rather than having to fly out and randomly find them perhaps they could place them in there or even in the abandoned freighters and in, in abandoned buildings in the terminals you know sometimes they give you nanites but it'd be nice if they just gave you the odd living ship module so when you like the you know you get the the gungy stuff wherever you find that gungy stuff there's a chance you might find the odd module in the gunge whether that's through a terminal or otherwise or one of the boxes or something it would just be nice to get more random drops of modules for your, your living ships in those areas or even some augmentation slots to actually expand the infantry that would be quite cool okay right so that's that's my five wants so moving on to what we've actually got in the living ship update I mean the living ship missions themselves they felt pretty wrong to me now, I don't know whether that's the same with you guys but when I was putting souls into the ship and killing creatures with the animus beam I was like this feels wrong but I'm doing it because I want to live in ship and the end result you, you kind of think I've just stuck three travelers souls into this thing that's three me's that have just gone into here that's that's weird that is very weird and I'm wondering whether it's got something to do with Hades and maybe the river of sticks and maybe the Furies. I'm thinking like um, Greek mythology here, chum. So there was three goddesses of vengeance and death, and they worked for Hades, and they sort of went through the river of sticks and things, and yeah, they, they were pretty nasty pieces of work. But yeah, I'm wondering whether, maybe in a future update, these three bad NPCs might uh, make an emergence, or maybe we might even get a new race of fallen travelers or something the seeking vengeance for us bringing these living ships into the iteration and also what if these living ships are actually like an antivirus perhaps us as travelers we're the virus and perhaps that's why we had to feed them in the ships or the other way around perhaps us as travelers are the antivirus and these living ships are the virus i mean we've got all this because 1616 going on it still hasn't been fully explained what's going on with the iteration and why it's shutting down and why there's this corruption and why there's the 1616 Perhaps this storyline is leading into that, chums. Perhaps, 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 perhaps. But yeah, I'm going to be putting up slides, um, as I've been talking this whole time, around some of this stuff that I've got going on in my head. But my head is slightly crazy, chums, and I really do like, you know, Greek mythology. So sorry if I've gone overboard with the tangents and weirdness, but that's just me. You get that on my channel. It's just something I do. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this, chums, and hopefully you've got your own opinions, and I'd love to see those appearing in the comments below. And some of these slides, you may want to have paused them and taken a better read and a bit of a look at it, because I even mentioned, like, the Animus Beam. Animus is something that gets mentioned in Greek mythology. They even go as far to say that Hades could have been an Animus, because, yeah, yeah, it's just one of those things. Anyway, like I say, you could have paused these, take a look at the slides, look at them in a little bit more detail, see if I'm on something, add your own comments, love to read them anyway i'm going to be signing out now chums but that's all the speculation i've got for you right now and i'll catch you out in the verse so take care goodbye all salute to monday and if you wish to support my channel you can do so by heading over to patreon there is a tier there for pretty much everyone including ship models these 10 lucky chappies are getting ship models spanking you patreons and yeah here's all my other patreon backers spanking you patreons and new to the channel is youtube membership hurry on over see if it appeals to you thanking you
Okay, drop in a super chat or a donation also helps me towards getting my goal, which is a PlayStation 5, and bringing you next gen. Or head on over to Teespring, grab yourself a gnarly mug or a t shirt. That'll be sweet. Or just hit a like, subscribe, or hit the notification bell. You can click one of these to stay with the channel a little bit longer. Or just don't skip my adverts. That for is running you down my avenue. Goodbye.